Bonjour et bienvenue sur All About Aquaculture, tout sur l'aquaculture au profil d'Afrique. Aujourd'hui, on est en Zambie et j'aimerais vous présenter une belle petite ferme qui occupe à peu près 1,2 hectare et qui est aménagée et gérée par M. Thomas Kabeda. Good afternoon, Thomas. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. And you? I'm okay, I'm very fine. Okay. So please tell me, uh, why did you set a fish farm? You no, know, the reason why I set the fish farm, I wanted to, uh, to help the country in terms of food basket. So, and fish is one of uh, the, the food we can get proteins from. So I wanted to help the community and for income, of course. Nice, nice. And what is your background? Now you are a fish farmer, but what were you doing before? No, I was um, a main, an engineer by profession, mm -hmm. metallurgical engineer. So I used to work for First Quantum Minerals before I resigned. That's when I decided to do to venture into fish farming. Yeah, it was. It, it was. It's one of the farming you can easiest farming you can ever do. Nice, nice. And what is the surface area of your site here, please? So uh, I have two farms. The first one I have is about 1.5 hectares, mm -hmm. and the second one is about 1.2 hectares. Okay. Yeah. So in total, it's a roughly it's about 2.7 hectares. Okay. I combine both farms. Nice, nice. And what is the species of fish you produce in this farm? So we are specialized into Andersonai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three spotted brim. Okay, okay. And do you buy fingerlings or do you have your own bullstock or something? No, I don't buy fingerlings. The second farm, that's where I do my fingerlings from. I have a hatchery. Mm -hmm. So we produce our own fingerlings. Then the second farm, that's where we do the the production. Okay. And we stock the, the fingerlings. Okay, and you do the grow out here? Yes. Oh, I can see the fish moving in the pond over there. Uh, sure. Okay. And do you produce your own feed or do you buy commercial feed? No, we do buy commercial feed. Yeah, we have three sources. Now, uh, Nam feed, which is national meal, national milling mm -hmm. feed. Then uh, Novatech, we buy it from Zambif. And Ala Aqua, the nearest point we get Ala Aqua from is Kitwek. Okay, so you have to transport everything here. Exactly, yes. Okay. And, and I see uh, some pipes here. Uh, from where do you get the water? We have the stream, okay. the main stream nearby. Okay. As you can see, just the end of the farm, there's a stream there we get our, our water from. Then we pump into the, the tank. Oh. Then we supplement at night because of the oxygen levels. At night, the oxygen levels reduce, mm -hmm. so we try to supplement. Then during daytime, yeah, we, we use the natural water. I see. So if I get it very well, you get the natural water from the pump, like yes. on the groundwater. Groundwater, yes. Yes, but at night you use the water that is in the tank yes. on top of your mountain over there. Yes. Okay, to uh, like uh, oxygenate the water. Exactly. To yes. add to, to uh, put more uh, oxygen in the water. Yes. Through yes. Uh, fresh water. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is really good. And what are the challenges you go through as a few fish farmer who just uh, started the, the business two years ago? Uh, the main challenge is the cost of feed. The commercial feed we buy is mm. too expensive. Okay. Especially the one we get from Kitwe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is, it is expensive. We need to find ways and means of reducing that cost of feed. Okay. And secondly, what what season we experience water levels so they go down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the evaporation and the stream we dry we dry a bit. So we always find those times. And how many staff do you have here on site? Uh, on site I have uh, seven in total mm -hmm. and I have five, five male, mm -hmm. then two ladies, then if we include one of the directors, 
work with this. She's a lady as well. Okay. It makes eight. So we have three ladies and five males. Okay, can you just tell me what the ladies they do and what the males they do on the farm, beautiful uh, fish farm like yours? Yeah. So what I've uh, done is, ladies, they are specific for feeding, they feed the mm. fish. Okay. And males, they do the maintenance and the other duties if they need. Okay. Yes. okay. And uh, when you harvest, do you sell the fish here or do you have any outlet? out there in, 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 the, in the city? Usually we get orders, okay. we sell part of the fish here on the farm, mm -hmm. customers will come and buy, Okay. then the excess we take in, uh, into town, which okay. is about uh, 21 cases. Okay. Yeah, so we supply for those who want fresh fish. Okay, and in, in the town, do you sell at the market or do you supply uh, restaurants? And, and we can supply restaurants and schools. Okay. Yes. Okay. But can you do you sell all the fish? Yes. All the fish you produce here. Yes. We okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really so. It's a good business. It is a good business. Yes. Okay. Would you advise any young person to to quit the job also and start fish farming like you? <laughs> I can do that. Okay. Yeah, because it's profitable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as everything is in place, definitely it, is. it brings a good income. So okay. Income. When you say everything is in place, that means uh, they have to have some savings to have, dig the ponds. Yes, have savings for the startup capital to dig the ponds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to buy fingerlings, to buy feed, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And other necessary things like the pumps, maybe the water levels would be stepped, so they need such things. Yes. When they have those in place, then it is a good, good, good farming venture you can somewhere get take. Yes. And I see that you have also invested in fencing all the sites here. Yes, for security reasons, mm -hmm. but we don't want intruders to come and get the fish at night. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, the predators. Mm -hmm. We try to avoid the predators from outside mm -hmm. which can eat the fish. Okay. And you also have uh, electricity. Is it solar here? Yeah, it's solar. Okay. Yeah, we are using solar lights. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, just to help us at night so that it's light and it's visible. Okay, okay. Nice. So, Mr. Thomas, thank you very much for welcoming All About Aquaculture here. You're welcome. Thank you very much for visiting us. Okay. You're welcome to Simukuyo Farm. Next time, you can go again to find out one or two things okay. that we can discuss and chat the way forward. Thank you.